In today's video, we're finding out what ping booster actually gives you lower ping and zero delay, gear up or WTF fast. I've tested both on the exact same setup, the same servers and the results, they honestly weren't what I expected at all. We're ranking them across three categories, the price, the UI and the performance to see which one's actually worth buying in 2025. Let's get right into this video. Now, firstly, we're gonna be comparing the prices of gear up versus WTF fast, which one actually comes to that tiny bit cheaper. Obviously, we're gonna be going on to Google Google, now searching WTF fast. Now these are the membership options. We're going to be checking for one month the regular price for both of the apps. One month for WTF fast comes at £13, £37 per month. Now I've done these comparison videos in the past. This is a tiny bit too expensive, but obviously if it works very, very well, they can justify that price. And now we can move on to gear up price just like so. The one month plan right here is £8.99. So WTF fast does come out a bit expensive. 62% more expensive to be exact and also another point that I do want to add on right here gear up do a free trial now if you want to give it a go I will leave this in the description below so before paying any money whatsoever you can download the free trial try it for yourself to see if this also works now I'll leave that in the description I'll also leave WTF fast in the description as well of course for this one you do have to pay to try it now like I did say though it's not all about the price if WTF fast does actually work a lot better than gear up of of course they can completely justify it now moving on to round two which is the ui firstly we'll be looking at wtf fast which is open right here firstly what i do like about these ping boost straps is when they have the apps that you have on your pc already on the screen right here honestly it's just so so convenient because you don't have to go and add it rummage through try find fortnite or whatever game you're playing and of course by the way this video we will be testing fortnite specifically but if you guys play valorant PUBG, CSGO, go anything like that all of these ping boost straps do have the games you play so do not worry about that so make sure you are watching even if you're not just playing Fortnite. now another thing about wtf fast we can see right here show all hidden games detected install games and add manually those are the only other three options we have on this ui right here and i'm not going to say anything bad about it of course it most likely does work very very well but this ui is quite outdated and i know most of you guys will agree with me here this looks like we're back in like 2010 i'm not gonna lie to you guys for the UI, I'm going to give it about a 5.5 out of 10. It's not really justifying the 62% increase over gear up, but we'll see how it actually does work in the ping test further throughout this video. Now, as for gear up's UI, we can already see the games are a lot bigger. We have more categories right here. We can see my games, coupons. There's also an animation right here going on. And again, a massive green flag. They have your games already here. Simple as that. And yes, of course, WTF Fast did also have this. Another thing about gear up, you can also go on the game section right here choose so many games again they're categorizing everything that you ever want we can scroll down as well use the search box for 2000 plus more games which that is absolutely perfect also as well with gear up you can go onto twitch drops if there's a fortnite x twitch collab you can go onto here valor x twitch you can go onto here and make sure to get the drops so that is another super super bonus and again for getting this as a free trial i'm not gonna lie that is very very good so make sure you do check it out down in the description but now the main event we need to check our pings on gear up versus wtf fast because after all of this if wtf fast does actually bring our ping lower then of course i really would recommend that but let's actually go into the test now and to make this as completely fair as possible by the way i'll be resetting all of my network tweaks to do this by the way i'm going to go run as administrator on the cmd go into my discord server if you guys want you can join it as well down in the description below literally this line of code resets completely everything to do with my wi-fi so now my wi-fi is going to have no tweaks involved press enter just like so we can see everything is now disconnected now we can actually load up fortnite and see our normal average ping and now we are on fortnite as you can see and by the way do remember these apps aren't just for fortnite i'm only showcasing fortnite because it's quite easy to tell your ping within fortnite so now we can literally go onto it see this is our average ping auto of 51 ms and i am in europe so europe 51 ms that is with no ping boosters involved literally no ping tweaks as you guys just saw i reset my wi-fi now the first one that we're going to be doing is wtf tweaks let's see how well that works and here we are back on wtf fast all we have to do is literally press the play button just like so i'm pretty sure we get greeted on this page right here yes destination i'm literally going to let it do its thing auto destination the exact same as what i'm going to be doing on gear i'm not actually going to be putting in anything where i actually want to be going i'm going to let the app decide completely itself game configuration fortnite let's literally press connect just like so it's literally 
officially coming up saying Fortnite game is already launching. That is a very good sign, by the way, that's automatically launching Fortnite. Now, we literally wait and see what ping we're going to get. Now, we're not going on Fortnite just yet because the first error that I did encounter, I did launch Fortnite, by the way, as you guys saw, WTF Fast launched it itself, and it did actually not connect to Fortnite whatsoever. I still had my average ping of 50. So what I think will fix it is if we launch the game manually. So now, literally, just like before, we're going to be launching Fortnite to see if this works. But already, this is kind of a red flag. Let's see what happens. Now, I am back onto Fortnite, and let me just show you quickly that WTF Fast, it still says waiting, although I do want to show you my ping. It has definitely done something. Even though, for some reason, it's saying right here it hasn't. The first time, definitely, my ping was exactly the same. So right now, I wanted to quickly check it to see if it's actually working. Technically, we'll see what's going on. You guys are going to see what I mean. Literally, right here, go on to language and region, matchmaking region of auto 88 MS. It still knows we're in Europe, but for some reason, it's connected us to one of the worst Fortnite servers possible, upping our ping by literally 75, 80%, going from 50 to 88 MS. I'm not going to lie. This is one of the worst reviews I've ever done on a ping tweaking app right here. It literally doesn't even say we're connected. That is one of the worst parts about it. And again, the UI is just so, so old. What else could we be expecting from this? I'm not going to lie. I don't think they're actually upgrading that app anymore. But now we can actually move on to gear up to see if this actually works or not. And now we're back onto gear up just like so. And guys, genuinely, I can't believe I paid almost 12, 13 pounds for this app right here. That's absolutely ridiculous. Now we can try gear up literally right here. You guys can try it as well. There's a free trial going on right now down in the description. And all you have to do for gear up, very, very similar to WTF fast, is literally press boost right here. Now this is connecting to the best Fortnite service possible, the best DNS service possible, literally what every single ping booster does. Now we'll see how well gear up works. And also server region, again, we're gonna keep on auto. No, we're gonna keep on auto. Although I do want to quickly see if it is choosing Europe. We do not know whatsoever right now, but you can see how many server regions there are right here. And nodes as well, what a node is, you can connect what server you want to actually connect to. So right now we're on the auto node, most optimal apparently, I'm not even gonna touch it. But it knows that we are close to London. That is a very, very good sign by the way. Now all we have to do is launch the game. This again is manual, it's not gonna launch the game for you. So it knows exactly what to do. Now we're back onto Fortnite just like so. This process was genuinely so much easier. As we can see right now, it is on and it's actually showing our estimated ping of nine. That is absolutely crazy by the way. You can see it's been on for one minute 35. I literally loaded up Fortnite right when I pressed connect. Now we can go actually see our ping. Auto of 11 MS. Europe with 11 MS. We literally went from 50 to 11 MS with gear up. And then with WTF fast, we went from 50 to 80. I'm not gonna lie, that is absolutely crazy by the way. I do want to quickly see what this actually is like in creative. Let me see if we're playing 55 ping, 10 ping or whatever. Let's quickly have a look. And now we are in game and if you look in the top left right now, we literally have six to seven ping. That is the craziest part about it by the way. And let me show you that gear up is actually on right now. As you can see, 21 ping and we're not actually playing 21 ping right now. That is the craziest part. And also I want to say that it feels like I have zero delay. That is the craziest part. I'm not even good at Fortnite and I can still edit like that. I really do recommend gear up for you guys. It definitely does win this comparison by far and for free. You're not paying for the first couple of days. Honestly, it's a win in my books. Genuinely, please do give it a go. Now I'll see you guys in the next video. If you did enjoy, please do comment, like, and subscribe.